One of the two amendments that could change our state constitution is about school choice. Amendment 2, if passed, would let the General Assembly give financial support to students outside of the public school system. Advocates for and against are hurling claims at voters. We're all getting flyers in our mailboxes and seeing those ads play out on screen. The WKYT Investigates team is continuing to fact check those claims for us tonight. WKYT's Kristen Kennedy tackling school choice. Kentucky voters are getting ads in their mailboxes telling them to vote yes and no on Amendment 2. Some of the flyers and the advertisements on TV contain wild claims. We're going to fact check a few. The first claim, this one from a vote yes flyer, says Amendment 2 will allow parents to choose the school that matches their values. This needs context. If school choice is approved and legislators pass a tax credit scholarship program, parents could use state funds at a private or charter school that matches their values. But the private school doesn't have to accept their children. Private schools can still choose to accept students based on criteria they set. A separate claim off of a vote no flyer says Amendment 2 would make class sizes larger and take individual attention away from students. This is false. Education leaders we talk to say public school class sizes may actually decrease if families leave the public school system. A separate advertisement also encouraging families to vote no argues against this claim. Education leaders are quick to point out if Amendment 2 passes, it doesn't automatically mean there is a tax credit scholarship program ready to go. Amendment 2 gives state legislators the chance to create a program they feel is the best fit for Kentucky. For WKYT Investigates, I'm Kristen Kennedy. And you can keep up to date with our full election coverage by looking for this fact check and all the others over on the WKYT Investigates page. New